Welcome to Program and Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to install the Arduino IDE and how to upload the first sketch into the Arduino board. Okay, let's start. We'll search on Google by this keyword Arduino Download Old Version because there are some old version is more stable than the newer version. Okay, shut it. There are many old versions right here and the newer version is 1.a.a .a. but the version 1.a.6 is more stable than the other and we'll use this a.6 in this video. There are two options for downloading. First is Windows Installer and the second is Windows. I will talk about this. The installer packet here, the inst here, the installer package will be installed on your computer system with an exe file or execute file. This way is quite hard to uninstall the library or hard to reinstall the Arduino application. But the second way that is Windows packet. That is a zip file you only need to extract it after download it and run it immediately. I recommend you use this packet because it's easy to delete and re-extract when Arduino application is error. We just need to delete the old file and extract it again. So I will download the Windows packet in this video. Click it and just download and save it in your computer system but I've already downloaded. Here I downloaded it and this is a zip file you have to extract it. Okay done you get a folder like this after extracted the zip file. Now I will open the Arduino IDE. Okay, this is Arduino interface and this is a text editor you can code right here. Put your setup code and put your main code right here. And this is the output pen. The output pen will show the code combination and some information about Arduino board after upload the code. I will introduce you some Arduino menus button right here. The first, the check mark button to verify or combine the code. The arrow key button is uploading the code to Arno board. Next is creating a new project. The upward arrow button is opening an existing Arno project. And the last one is saving the current project to your computer. The button appearing on the top right corner is a serial monitor. The serial monitor will actually help you debug the code via UART. Your Arduino board should be connected to your computer by USB cable in order to activate the serial monitor. I will use this in the UART video. Okay, this is board information in the sketch. And I will introduce you some session right here. The first is file, and in this file we have assemble. You can find more assemble right here. I will open one. This is a plain project. You can use this to upload to your board. Okay, we'll close it. Next is sketch session. In sketch session, uh, you can use the command here instead of button. Combine, upload, upload using programmer. You don't need to use this session and export combined binary. Uh, this session will help you create a hex file. And this is an include library. You can add more zip file about library to your project by this. And or you can include some library to your project. I will click one here. It will appear a library in your project. Okay, this is tune session. We can change the relevant board we are using and we can add more board to the Arduino like this. We can download more board in this board manager. Okay. Or we can identify which Arduino board is connected to computer by COM board. We can find COM board in device manager. Device manager. 
yeah right here device manager I will make an example later um, we can also use Arno board as a board programmer to upload code for the others mirror controller or the other board and the last E burn bootloader it is very helpful to burn the code directly into the microcontroller 80 mega 328 or the other setting you free from buying the external burner to burn the required code when you buy the new Arno board the bootloader is already installed inside the microcontroller 80 mega 328 but however if you intend to buy a new to repair and put on the Arduino board, you need to burn the bootloader again inside the controller by going to the tone session and select this session. Select burn bootloader. Okay, um, that is some information about Arduino application. Now I will upload an sample code to Arduino. I will use the Blink sample project for easy. Here, Blink project. Okay, open it. Okay, now I will connect my arrow to the computer. As you see, the arrow now is executed the default code. We will check the COM port in Device Manager. In this session, port. The, my arrow now is using COM3. Okay, remember that. Now we have three steps to upload code. First, check the board with your board check the board session with your board check the board with your board okay last verify to check an, is an error syntax okay done compiling and now we can upload code to the board upload okay you see in the board um, it's still playing as the default code so we have to change some variable right here change 1000 to 100 for see clearly okay upload you need to verify because the code is correctly okay you see the LED is blinking faster okay that are all about this video now we can know how to install the Arduino IDE and how to upload the code to the Arduino thank you